And here we go on another moment to pause along life's way. Uh, tonight we're going to be talking about chasing dreams or dreams not worth chasing at all. Just take your pick of whatever title you want to call this one tonight. But uh, anyway, let's go over to uh, Proverbs 28, 19. He that tilleth his land shall have plenty of bread, but he that followeth after vain persons shall have poverty enough. I'll say it right in a minute anyway. Anyway, some of our most important dreams are the ones we abandon. Some of our most important goals are the ones we never attain. And sometimes some of our most important journeys are the ones that seem to be dead end streets. Thankfully, with the Great Spirit, there are no dead ends. There are only opportunities to learn, to yield, to trust, to serve, and to grow. The next time you experience one of life's inevitable disappointments, don't despair and don't be afraid to try the backup plan, plan B. Consider every setback as an opportunity to choose a different, more appropriate path. Have faith that God may indeed be leading you in an entirely different direction than what you think you should go. A direction of His choosing. And as you take your next step, remember what looks like a dead-end street to you may in fact be the fast lane according to God. Now I'm going to make a little statement here that I have uh, got written down and I have uh, worked on this. I want it to come out right and uh, sometimes what I say and what I'm thinking are two different things. But uh, anyway, I, I, I want you to uh, listen to this and uh, see what you think of it. Set goals in your life so big and so high that unless God helps you, you can never achieve them. May the Great Spirit always walk close to you in your circle of life.